I like corrections because we're spell checking auto correct now. They, they print stuff that just gets past the edits, doesn't it? And so they, they print apologies, don't they? In advertisement for the house on Birchin Lane, the text should have read within easy walking distance of town. <laughs> Not as we printed yesterday, wanking. <laughs> just made it worse. Ah oh dear, and my favourite and the one I finish off with is, uh, and I shouldn't laugh at this, as I say, I'm an animal lover and animal, animal welfare and all that, and uh, so, uh, <laughs> this is Headless Monkey found in Danefield Road. I don't know why that's funny. It's not funny. Okay, it's not funny. Um, <laughs> Police officers describe the animal as a small monkey with a black and white tail. Oh. Its head has not been found. <laughs> the animal had not been microchipped. <laughs> Inspector Lawson said, if following the investigation by the RSPCA, it transpires this is a case of an animal suffering at the hands of a person. It is a truly despicable act. And it is, isn't it? Not knowing where the monkey came from or where it sustained its injuries. Found near the bridge connecting Danefield Road to Royal Street, next to the railway line. <laughs> it's a monkey suicide, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, animal rights campaign and Nicky Brooks from Watcroft said this is not an accident. A head doesn't come off by an animal or a car. It's human intervention. Oh my God, that's Wednesday the 27th of June. Thursday, 28th. Here we go, follow up. The RSPCA investigation into the headless monkey found in the North Beach Road has revealed that the animal was actually a squirrel. <laughs> oh, in God's name, hi. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that. Thanks for coming out on a Friday. Have a great weekend. Uh, we've been doing it. We've been doing it.